One unique feature of the Swim L&B is the way you read the signal level while aligning the ODU. Though the aligning and peaking is done exactly the same way with any KAKU ODU, you need to connect your signal level meter and keep the L&B powered. That's done using the ASL or by the use of a power passing splitter on some signal level meters. We'll look at the ASL first. The ASL looks like a four-way splitter, but it's very different. The input port at the top is connected directly to the SWIM L and B. The bottom left port is 18 volts out. The next port is power in. This is where the power supply cable is connected. You'll see the power ports all have red inserts in the connectors. The next port is labeled 119 and passes the signal from the satellite at the 119 orbital slot. The right bottom port is labeled 101 and it passes the signal from the satellite at 101 degrees. Here's how it works. Connect the input from the swim L and B. Now connect the power from the power inserter. The power inserter has to be in line because the output voltage of your signal level meter isn't enough to power the L and B. Your meter has an 18 volt output and the L and B requires a minimum of 21 volts. Don't connect any receivers to the ODU until you've peaked it. Once the receiver is connected, the LNB is switched out of the setup mode and you can't peak the ODU. Let's look at the ODU alignment using the bird dog signal meter first. Connect the 101 port to the meter input. Press the arrow button to select Direct TV SWM 101. Now roughly align the ODU for maximum gain. Once you have the highest signal level, connect the jumper to the 119 port on the ASL and set your meter to read the 119 satellite. Now align the tilt. At this point you have rough aligned the ODU. Move the jumper back to the 101 port on the ASL. Now you need to fine tune it using the dithering process covered in the KAKU ODU certification course. Follow the same dithering steps you would on any KAKU ODU installation. Now let's look at the alignment using the AccuTrack Pro. Follow the same instructions for connecting the ASL to the power inserter and ODU. Connect the 101 port to the meter at the 101 input. Turn the meter on and view the 101 satellite signal and rough align the ODU to get maximum gain. Once you have the highest signal level, connect the jumper to the 119 port on the ASL and set your meter to read the 119 satellite. Now align the tilt. At this point you've rough aligned the ODU. Move the jumper back to the 101 port on the ASL. Now you need to fine tune it using the dithering process covered in the KAKU ODU certification course. Follow the same dithering steps you would on any KAKU ODU installation. Now let's look at alignment using a Digisat 3. Follow the same instructions for connecting the ASL to the power inserter and ODU. Connect the 101 port to the meter at the input. Turn the meter on and view the 101 satellite signal and rough align the ODU to get maximum gain. Once you have the highest signal level, connect the jumper to the 119 port on the ASL and set your meter to read the 119 satellite. Now align the tilt. At this point you've rough aligned the ODU. Move the jumper back to the 101 port on the ASL. Now you need to fine tune it using the dithering process covered in the KAKU ODU certification course. Now let's look at alignment using the Super Buddy. Follow the same instructions for connecting the ASL to the power inserter and ODU. Connect the 101 port to the meter at the input. Turn the meter on and view the 101 satellite signal and rough align the ODU to get maximum gain. Once you have the highest signal level, connect the jumper to the 119 port on the ASL and set your meter to read the 119 satellite. Now align the tilt. 
At this point, you ruffle on the ODU. Move the jumper back to the 101 court on the ASL. Now you need to fine-tune it using the dithering process covered in the KAKU ODU certification course. 